All right, so we're gonna start it out with a tough superset here. We're gonna go two dumbbell split squats, six reps, supersetted with step ups, two dumbbells, six reps. Okay, so ideally I don't want you to put the weight down until you're done with that 24th rep, okay? So we're gonna come out here, dumbbells are just gonna drop right down the shin line, and we're doing six. I'll switch. Now we're going straight into the step ups. Obviously make sure you're not gonna hit your head on anything. <laughs> and we wanna drive with this front leg, not this back leg. So that's one right there. Good. So we're getting that grip strength involved as well. And we're gonna do that three times. So now we're gonna do one dumbbell split squats, eight reps, supersetted with squat to row, okay? This one dumbbell split squat's great because we're working that torso control, working the obliques to level the shoulders, make sure those shoulders stay level. So keep that core engaged. We're gonna keep it out in front, drop it right on the shin line, we're gonna come up. We're doing eight reps on both these. I'll switch. Good. And then we're going to squat rows right here. If you have a cable machine with two handles, that's great too. Or you can use the rope. But we want to keep that chest upright, squat and hinge, come up and row. Good. And we're doing three sets of that as well. So here we're gonna do our landmine row to press. This is all about moving weight in an efficient manner. We want this at like a driver ball position. So like just inside our lead foot, right? So we're gonna squat, left arm goes across here, row up and then punch. And do not over rotate. Just make sure you push through, keep it efficient. And then we're gonna switch sides. So here we're gonna work core strength. We're gonna really work on torso control. We're doing something called stir the pot. So I've got about 30 pounds on here. We're just gonna get it into the middle of our chest. Athletic stance, I want you to tuck a little bit underneath with your pelvis, right? So we keep that core engaged. We're gonna push out and then slow around. And that circular motion back in and out. You're gonna feel a lot of core here. You're gonna feel the inside leg, that glute as well, trying to stabilize, and that's what we want. We want that core and that glute communicating to each other. And we're gonna do eight reps. And then we're gonna flip around, face the other direction, same, same way. So once we're facing that way, we're still gonna push out first and then around. All right, so I call these the kinetic slams in the form of the kinetic sequence, right? So that's power from the ground up. Golf's a unique sport in which our arms are moving down as we're trying to generate force up through our lower body. You might look goof goofy doing this the first few times, but that's okay. Um, so we're gonna start in a squat and our hands up and we're gonna slam and jump. So you're trying to sequence this, right? 